back, everyone. She is a journalist, a TV host, and she has a degree in women's studies from Harvard University. Mm. And today she is here with her latest book, Pregnancy OMG. Please <laughs> welcome back one of our good friends, best-selling author Nancy Red. Yes. Welcome back, Thank Nancy. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we are so happy to hear all about this book. I mean, happy and a little bit shocked. OMG. Yeah. OMG. Yeah, <laughs> you have been passionate about women's studies, obviously, your whole life. Why was now the right time to write this book about pregnancy? Well, I think we're becoming more comfortable and confident with the fact that our bodies, we have to take control of them. It can be a little scary. We can be a little wary. But as Mark has stories, we all have stories, yeah. especially during pregnancy. It's such a time where people tend to focus on the baby. How's the baby doing? How big is the yeah. baby? Is the baby cute? Well, right. yeah. we are more than an incubator, ladies. You're more than an incubator. Yeah, Thank you. Yes, yeah. we care about your health. So Pregnancy OMG is the first ever photographic, photographic. Yeah, I saw. Guide, uh -huh. <laughs> guide to pregnancy for the expecting woman to take control of her body and make sure she's healthy. Well, there's a long list of potential side effects included in this book. Yes. There's one, I'm going to call it, you don't call it this, but I would call it this is the Pinocchio effect. The Pinocchio yes. effect, right. yes. Where your, your nose grows Quick. when you're pregnant. Is or you, I thought you were going to say, or you start lying about how much weight you've gained. <laughs> <laughs> That's why pregnant women's nose grows. Yeah. I've That's only gained it. four pounds. <laughs> no, but no, but really, your nose grows? Your nose can grow. Okay, so here's the great thing about this book. We're talking about hundreds of symptoms talked about in Pregnancy OMG. And the really good thing is not everything's going to happen to you. But if it does, be prepared. Your nose looks perfect. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. man. Now your nose is growing. <laughs> <laughs> but many women find that, uh, so you have a lot of uh, enlarged mucous membranes when you're pregnant. So that can be around your nose. Mm -hmm. Also, some of our noses have more fatty tissue than others, depending on the makeup of your nose. So if you do have fatty tissue there, like as the rest of you is growing, so can your nose. And that can shrink back when you, you know, lose the baby weight. Right. Uh, and so also you have all this blood and plasma floating all around there. And sometimes it lands right in that here. space. Right oh, it just makes you look younger. Yeah, sure. It spells you out like when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. There are 14 different um, chapters in yes. this book. And there's uh, sleep, skin, nutrition, mental health. One of them that I, when I read it, I said, oh, my gosh, this happened to me. I apparently talks about enamel loss in your teeth. In I had no idea that this was a side effect. I didn't even know until after Alexander was born. And we were in the pool, and she headbutted me, and she broke my tooth. Yes, and do you remember? I came to work, yeah. and I had half a tooth like this. <laughs> and I figured I'd go to the doctor. She kept she whistling. She was talking. Yeah. Oh, no. In half. And I went to the dentist, and he said, this is a side effect of having your baby because yeah. your, your bones get weak. And literally, that's why the first sentence of my book, Pregnancy OMG, is, why did no one tell me this could happen? <laughs> because seriously, you could have been prepared because part of it is, there is the old adage, gain a child, lose a tooth. I'm from Southern Virginia. It was always said, and there's truth to that because the baby's not only taking your calcium, and oftentimes we don't eat enough um, of the minerals and vitamins we need. Right. Because the doctor says, well, don't worry. The baby will take from you what it needs, but then it takes your tooth. Exactly. <laughs> You're not Okay? Kidding. And she, so... She took my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> so, so one of the ways to mitigate this is not only to make sure that you're getting your multivitamin, and I have talked about the types of multivitamins in the book that pregnant women are often really good at being able to take, but also sometimes one of the weird issues is, did you have morning sickness? When you were pregnant? Yes, I did. And the acid from that weakens our teeth. So oh we all need to, when we're pregnant, if this happens to you, immediately put a little baking soda in some water, mix it up, and rinse our mouth out to neutralize those acids. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's something that's really helpful. And then oftentimes pregnant women say, oh my gosh, brushing my teeth sets off the morning sickness, so I can't do that. So I'm just going to give up and just have funky breath. No, oh, ladies. No. no. Yeah, okay? No. you got to get a baby washcloth. You're, you have baby washcloths already? Ready for your little one. My daughter, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're going to put a little bit of water on there, maybe a little toothbrush, and use that to brush your teeth so the reflex of freaking right. out won't, won't ruin your day or your teeth. Sure. Right. Oh, my goodness. Um, I just want to touch real quickly on the itchy side of things because, Julie, my wife had cholestasis of pregnancy, which hands itching, feet. We found out it was a very serious situation. Um, but you say itching can happen at all different causes. We should pay attention to those. So let me just say I love your wife because she took control of her pregnancy. Yeah. Because many people say, oh, itchy in pregnancy. Of course you're itchy. Your skin is growing. It's the stretch marks. 
Not always. And that's why in Pregnancy OMG, I really went to all the baby boards to see what women were talking about that their doctors sometimes would poo-poo or didn't ask about. And itching was a big thing. They were just like, I'm so itchy. What's going on? Mm. Most of the time, it's totally fine. But you do need to talk to your doctor. And in Pregnancy OMG, I talk about how itching probably is just your skin stretching. But it can be, like in Julie's yeah. case, a very serious issue, ICP, yeah. Yeah. which is very uncommon. But when we talk about pregnancy issues being uncommon, they're still thousands upon thousands of women who deal with them. Sure. And in her case, the itchiness was serious and she yeah. did her yeah. own research, yeah. didn't have pregnancy OMG at the yeah. time, no. but what happened? She told her doctor, I think I have this, yeah. and then what? And they did blood test and we found out and they immediately said, they took we the gotta baby. go get the baby. And see, that is proactive yeah. health. That's wow. why we need to be careful and know yeah. these seemingly innocuous, simple symptoms right. like itching can Pain have larger else. things. Well, Allie, you're obviously with <laughs> child. <laughs> or you ate a lot of the pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's so I'm sure you must have a million questions. I mean, I do. I think a big one for me that's actually right now is, I mean, I know your body, you have more blood in your body when you're pregnant, but like my veins are out of control. <laughs> like I look down at my hands and my veins are just like popping out Aww. like crazy. Is that normal? <laughs> well, here's the thing. No. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not pregnant. It's normal yeah. because it's happening to you. Is it safe? It's such a doctor issue. That's why for pregnancy OMG, I actually had the wonderful Dr. Sherry Ross, which yeah, you two know. Oh, we love you, Dr. Sherry Ross. Ross. We love you. We love Sheology, so which is your book too. Yeah. So she made sure that all of the advice I gave in the book was medically accurate. So when mm -hmm. we're talking about things like That's veins, great. there are many th issues that it could be. One thing is pregnancy can often cause circulation issues, obviously. Right. Uh, and can set off things like carpal tunnel syndrome or these other weird symptoms with your wrists that um, might need, when I was pregnant, for example, I needed to put a brace on when I was writing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had to write with braces because it was causing circulation issues oh, as wow. well. So um, these types of things are talked about in the book. And it's, there's no one right answer. You could just be itchy, you could have ICP. Mm -hmm. You could just have big veins, you could have carpal tunnel. You don't know, but it's important to be proactive about checking it out. And you know what? Tomorrow, Orly is going to DIY some beautiful carpal tunnel gloves. Oh, she's going to bedazzle. She's going to bedazzle. Fabulous. Yeah. Thank you so much, Aww, Nancy. You thank you for so having wonderful. me. And to get more information about pregnancy, OMG, you can go to HallmarkChannel.com. And, of course, please connect with this lovely lady over here on her social media platforms. <laughs> and up next with her carpal tunnel judged uh, gloves is Orly. Oh, no, that's later. That's Orly's right. Let me put these on. Thank you very much. I can't wait to show you my DIY coming up next. I'm going to bring a little fashion and glamour to that boring old license plate.